her regular choice spring forward and the matching bag hazy daisy not to be confused with the side as lazy daisy which sometimes happens due to typos um so matching shoes um bag these are from spring summer 2018 i believe So we're going to take a closer look at the Spring Forward shoes now. If you want to see a review of the Hazy Days bag, you can go down into the description and it will take you through a link to the review for that, for that. so you can watch that instead. But we're going to actually just look at the shoes now. So let's start with the box. I'm pretty sure this is the Spring Summer 2018 design um, with the like, lemon slices and the different um, flower patterns. And it's obviously the same as the sole of the shoes. The shoes are 10.9 centimetres high. If we get the boring stuff out of the way and compare them to a Nyx and a Banjo, like we always do in these reviews. So, Banjo. Very different in terms of height. If we take it, even if we take it to the top of the platform, it's probably still there. So you've got a good inch or so higher compared to a nick. Um, without the platform, it's probably the same, but the maybe a little bit higher. But the gradient from gradient, the the angle from the toe to the heel is dramatically steeper which is the reason why I struggle to wear these. There's a very big drop in the shoe from where it goes from the top to the bottom. Um, when I put them on, I'll show you how my feet only touch the very top and the very end of the shoe. None of the rest of my foot touches because I've got quite high in step and it doesn't touch any of this bit because of the angle of the way it goes down. So before we do that though, we'll look at the detail. As you can see, the shoe is covered in sequin flowers, lots of different colours. And within some of the flowers are little beads, each one of these is a sequin. And the, sometimes the head of the flower is a gem, but there's also little beads on it as well. The detail is incredible. I'm quite sad that I can't wear these. in lots of different colours and I've got four different three different shades of blue we've got yellow with blue in the centre white pale pink darker pink purple so there really is quite an array of colours which I think would make it easy to match it to different outfits obviously it's an open toe and on the heel you've got a dark mint sequined bow both the bow and the flowers are on the bag, which is in the separate review. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to be able to see this on the video, but um, when I'm wearing the shoe, I can actually get my finger between my foot and the bottom of the shoe. Um, and when I walk only my big toe and my heel actually touch the bottom of the shoe and there's a big gap in here and I think it's just because of the angle that the shoe takes going from top to bottom it's very steep
the fit is a bit on the big size as well. I mean, my heel is moving around quite a lot in them. Um, this is my normal size. I think I could have easily sized down and I probably wouldn't have had so many issues. Um, they're quite hard to find. Um, so. so there you have it. Spring forward. Incredible shoes. Amazing detail and beautiful colours. But unfortunately the fit's just not for me. They don't suit my feet. Um, which is really sad, because otherwise they are amazing. I'm just show you them with the bag one more time, just so you can see them together. There will be a lot more detailed photos on the website should you wish to see them. You made it to the end! Thank you! If you'd like more shoes, more reviews, more news, what else can we get to rhyme? Then you can subscribe to this channel or you can go to the website, Instagram or Facebook. All the information is in the description of this video. Thank you very much. Bye!